In this video segment, we will be discussing about stack data structure, push and pop operations, implementation of stack using array and the algorithm for that. Stack is a linear data structure. A linear data structure is a data structure in which the elements will be arranged sequentially. A stack, it is a list of elements in which an element can be inserted or deleted only at one end and that position is called as the top of the stack. The stack data structure is also called as LIFO list. LIFO stands for last in first out. It means the last element inserted will be popped out first and that is why the stack data structure has got this name LIFO list. And the position where the insertion and deletion happens, that position is called as top of the stack. These are some real world examples of stack data structure. We have a stack of plates, a stack of rings, a stack of books. So when we look at these arrangements, we can see that the last element uh, which is inserted will be taken first. So all these stacks follow a last in first out order and that is the same principle used by the stack data structure. The two basic operations associated with stack are push and pop. Push operation means inserting an element into a stack. Pop means deleting an element from a stack. So these are the basic operations associated with the stack data structure. Now let us see an example. So this is an empty stack and it does not contain any element. If we want to insert an element that operation is called as a push operation. So here one is inserted into the stack. Next if we want to insert an element, that element is pushed onto the stack that is just above the previously inserted element. Similarly, 3 is also inserted here. If we want to delete an element from this stack, the last inserted element will be first deleted. So in this example, 3 will be deleted. Let us look at another example. So here, the element 1 is already in the stack. Then 2 is pushed onto the stack. 3 is pushed onto the stack. Then 4, 5 and 6. Now when deleting is done, the last inserted element will be deleted first. So 6 is deleted first then 5, then 4, then 3 and then 2. So these are the basic operations that are done in a stack data structure. And note that both these operations happens at one end of the stack and that is top of the stack. Stack can be implemented in two ways, a static implementation and a dynamic implementation. The static implementation of stack is done using an array and dynamic implementation using list, linked list. So now we shall discuss about the implementation of stack using array. For the implementation we need to initialize a variable top where the insertion and deletion takes place and uh, the value of top is given as minus 1. We shall also use a variable max size to denote the maximum size of the array. Now let us discuss uh, the two operations push and pop. Whenever a push operation is done, we have to check whether the stack is full. If the stack is already full, we cannot further insert a new element. This particular condition is called as overflow. And if there is no overflow, you can insert an element and for that increment top by 1 and then insert the element. Now let us discuss the pop operation. Whenever a pop operation is to be done, we have to check whether the stack is empty. If the stack is already empty, that is called as underflow. 
If the stack is not empty, delete the element at the top position and decrement top by 1. So this is how the push and pop operations are done when a stack is implemented using array. Now let us discuss the algorithm for the implementation of stack using array. Start, then initialize top to minus 1, initialize the variable max size to denote the maximum size of the array. There are three users choice push, pop and display. First let us discuss the push operation. For inserting an element first we have to check whether the stack is full or not. For that check whether top is equal to maximum size minus 1. If this condition is true the stack will be full and there is no space for a new element. In that case we have to print the message stack overflow. Else there is space for a new element and we can insert. So read the new item, increment top by 1 and assign stack of top is equal to item. This is the algorithm for doing the insertion operation in the stack. Now let us see the pop operation. For deleting an element from the stack, first we have to check whether stack is empty or not. For that check if top is less than 0. If top is less than 0, we can understand that the stack contains no element. So we have to print the message under flow. If top is not equal to 0 or greater than 0, then there will be some element in the stack. So we can delete that element. So here, set item is equal to stack of top. To a variable item, we can assign the element present at the top of the stack. Afterwards, decrement top by 1. Then we can print the message as item is popped, that is the deleted item. You can print the message. So that is the pop operation of stack. Now if the user's choice was display, just display the elements in the stack using a loop. Stop. So now we have discussed the algorithm for implementation of push and pop operations on a stack. In this video segment, we have discussed about stack, the basic operations push and pop, and the algorithm for the implementation of stack using array. Thank you.